Hey there, it's Vicki Howell here to show you how to turn the heel on the autumn anklet sock that is from box number 19 from Yarnier. So looking at our sock, we can see this is our cuff. Um, we're doing an anklet, so it's a super wee cuff, but you could do as long as you wanted. And then we've done a heel flap. If you aren't familiar with how to do the, the heel flap, please just see the video before this on either the YouTube playlist on at my YouTube channel, Vicki Howell, or um, on in the Facebook group for Yarnier, um, wherever you get your videos. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to take this flat, you know, since our heels anatomically are not flat, we need to create a piece that curves around and cups the heel. And to do that, we're going to do a series of very simple short rows. And I'll show you what that means. Okay, so to get started, we're going to slip one, and then we are going to, depending on what size you're making, we're going to work 16 or 18 stitches, just knitting them. Okay, once we've worked, knit all those stitches, we are going to do a decrease, which is an SSK, which means slip two, slipped two stitches, one at a time. And unlike most slip stitches, for this particular decrease method, that means that we slip them knitwise. So slip one, slip two, and then we knit them together through the back loop. So that means that we insert our needle, our left hand needle, through the front of the loops on the right hand needle, and knit them together. All right, so that's created a decrease. And then we will knit one more stitch and then we will turn. So that means that we are leaving all of these other stitches right here unworked. And this is where the term short row comes because we're working a shorter row than normal, meaning that there will be more fabric on the rows that we've worked than there will be on the rows for the rows that we have not worked. All right, so now we are going to slip a stitch to begin the wrong side, and then we're going to purl the number in the pattern, depending on your size. And then we need to purl two together. So that's just bookending or mirroring the decrease from the opposite side, right? So purl two together, purl one more, and then turn. Okay, so we'll leave the rest of these stitches unworked. Okay, from here on, this is the process that you will be doing. You are going to always at the beginning of each row, slip the first stitch, and then you'll knit the number called for in the pattern, depending on your size. But let me tell you, you don't even need to worry about what the numbers in the pattern are because all you're looking for is this gap. You see that big gap? This is the gap from the decrease and the turn. So you know that you work the stitches. So for this row, the right side row, that means knit the stitches until you get to one stitch before the gap. Then we'll do another decrease. So the purpose of this decrease will actually be to join these two stitches in United Love. So we are going to do another SSK slip one, slip two, knit them together through the back loop. That gap is gone. Knit the next stitch, turn. So now we'll do the same thing, only the purl version on the wrong side. So we know we're gonna slip one and then we'll purl until we get to one stitch before that gap. So even if you get lost in a pattern and aren't sure what number you're on as far as stitches go for the decreases, you don't need to worry because you will always just need to go to one stitch right before that gap. 
and we're back here. We're on the wrong side, so we're, as I said before, we're working the pearls, so that means a pearl two together. Pearl one, and turn. From here, you just lather, rinse, repeat as the pattern calls for until your heel is complete, and you can really see how you've turned your heel. You can see a little dimensional knitting happening here. Maybe from this side, it's a little easy. Just with those four rows that I worked, short rows, you really can tell that you, my friends, are on your way to having a heel.